one to win, isn't it? Now, would you hire someone to spy on your children? Because, believe it or not, more and more parents are doing just that. Nigel Parsons runs an agency that provides undercover teenagers, whilst 26-year-old Marie pretends to be a 16-year-old. It's all in a bid to befriend youngsters and report any misbehaviour back to their parents. And Nigel Parsons and Mary Louise are here. Um, Nigel, well, this is your um, detective agency, isn't it? Uh, well, I'm a part of it, yes. Yes, yeah, so, I, so I mean, this is a fairly new thing, I guess, parents asking for it you to spy on their young teenagers it's a phenomenon that's, that's that's increased in the last couple of years i think largely because of um uh, uh awareness in the media um and also on the internet as well there's, what are they looking for what do they want you to find okay well um i mean firstly we, we only ever really can uh, become involved when things have become really bad i mean it's you know we're looking at things like substance abuse um alcohol misuse um worries about who they're talking to on the internet um initially I mean, the thing between parents and teenagers is communication so important. But sometimes the communication breaks down. Sometimes the blocks what, what go up. What sort of age are you looking at here? Uh, teenage years. Um, in, in, up to? In principle, sort of 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Mm. So sort of up until the, you know, the, 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 the times of adolescence and the very difficult times that, that happen mm, there. Before they're adult, mm. or technically adult, anyway. Um, and, I mean, parents will be sitting at home now saying, yeah, I'm really worried because she was out late last night, or I don't know what's going on at parties, or whatever. But you only take specific clients. You are, as you just said, you're only concerned when the level of communication between parent and child has broken down to such a degree that the parent has no idea what is going on in their children's lives. Is well, that right? This is true. I mean, we're, we're, inform we're um, information gatherers. You know, we're not there to resolve the problem. We're not putting ourselves up in, in that in that kind of way. Um, I mean, we do come across families who've gone other routes. They've looked outside, you know, maybe towards family counselling or, or some of the support services that are there. But still, they just don't know what's going on. Mm. You know, it's a very drastic route to take, this, mm. isn't it? Oh. Marie, what's your, what's your role? Uh, how, how, do you, how are you rolled out and into play? Well, I'm actually the one that goes in there because people are more likely to give information to what they think is a teenage girl rather than a 40, 50-year-old man in a trench coat. So it's just, it's, as we say, it's just information gathering. And what I do is I go in like I had to go to a college. So I started at the beginning of term with everybody else, was the new girl. I got, you know, thrown out of boarding school. So I automatically had the rebellious streak in me. So I was able to hang out with the kids, not the ones that are going to be in the library. They're the ones that are going to be down at the pub at lunchtime. So you just ha you have to stereotype to begin with and wait for them to involve you in their group. Because how old are you? 26. 26, but, yes. but acting as a, a late teenager sort of Yeah, age. Som sometimes I do sort of 14, 15. Gosh. Don't you yeah. feel uncomfortable, though, befriending these youngsters, getting to know them, know their circle of friends, you know, sort of know their habits, and then basically shopping them? Well, what it is, is when I'm actually there, I feel that I am one of their friends, I am one of the college kids, and it's not until I go home and have to actually write the report that I'm back to being Mary Louise again. But when I'm actually there, yes, I am one of their friends. Yes, I am hanging out with them. But fundamentally, it is there to protect them. Mm. And you have uncovered um, paedophiles, internet paedophiles. Yeah. Uh, you, you've gone on the internet posing as a, a, a schoolgirl, haven't you? Well, Nigel, what we say is Nigel was the soul and I was the body. I tend to do a lot of the keyboard work, and then yeah. if we need to put across a genuine voice, you know, perhaps when there's a mobile, swap of mobile phone numbers, or even possibly a meeting, then ah, right. nice coming on. Of so you can uh, say, if I if I was a, a worried parent, I said, look, my daughter's on the internet all hours of the day and night. I don't know what she's doing. Don't know who she's talking to. Then you would pose as the character that my daughter is. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And I, go into the that way and see if you can trap this person. Either that will clone and, and walk alongside and get talking to the people that she's talking to. I mean, we're, um, but we're not talking about their friends. I mean, mm. we've got the greatest respect for kids' privacy. Mm. Um, you know, anybody's got the same amount of privacy as, a, as, an, as an adult has, and we don't want to be over-intrusive on that. No, because that's what makes you the adult you are. You have to make yeah. your mistakes as a small person, but, but obviously not the big ones like drugs and underage sex and too much drinking. But you've even been hired by a college, haven't you? Yes, yeah. yes. Well, I think what it was was there were a few complaints from parents, you know, I think my children are getting drunk or, you know, they're smoking drugs or whatever. We want to know where the base is. We want to know where it's coming from. So the college had to do something about it. And rather than 
in the olden days what they used to do is just get the police in and mm. search everybody and scare everyone and cause an atmosphere. If I go in there silently and you find out who the ringleaders are and what they're actually doing, and they're not actually doing anything really wrong, they're just being teenagers. Well, thank you both very much indeed. This um, this isn't a cheap way of doing it. It's about 40-something pounds an hour, isn't it? Yeah, which is generally a, a standard rate for yeah. all the work that we do throughout. So it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, no exception. Well, thank you. There. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely fascinating. And, uh, and we'll see you after the news. So whatever you do, don't go away. We've got more pop idols still to come. And don't forget, we've also got Cliff Richard. See you in a bit. <laughs>